Martin Griffiths, the UN aid agency uh, chief, today said in an interview with Sky News that Hamas is not a terrorist organization. He later clarified that it is not on the list of groups that the United Nations has uh, of terrorist organizations. What's the word from Washington and from the White House about those comments by Martin Griffiths? Hamas is a terrorist organization. We've said so. It is. It just is. And you don't have to look any further than what they did on the 7th of October to see it in stark terms. And my goodness, take a look at their manifesto, even the one that's so-called watered down in 2017. There's no doubt they just want to wipe Israel off the face of the map. This is a terrorist organization, pure and simple, period. Is it helpful? I mean, do you find it, you know, have you reached out to Griffiths to? I'm not aware that we've done any reaching out, nor do I think we need to. We have made very clear uh, our views of what Hamas is. Okay, and then I just wanted to follow up. Um, Israel's finance minister has ordered these flower shipments uh, not to go into Gaza because they were going through UNRWA. Over the weekend, a senior administration official said that there was hope that those flower shipments, including a very large U.S. shipment, could actually be delivered. It would feed something like 1.4 million Gazans over six months. Yeah. What is the status of that? And what can you do to ensure that those shipments get in? I, I wish I could tell you that that flower is moving in, but I can't do that right now. And all I can tell you is that it's absolutely critical um, as a staple for the Palestinian people. And we're going to keep working uh, with our Israeli counterparts to see if we can get that port open to that flower. It's, it's absolutely vital. They committed to allowing it in. We want to make sure that happens. Did Netanyahu assure the president over the weekend that that was going to happen? I don't have anything specific from the call that they had about that particular issue, but believe me, uh, we're mindful of the comments made uh, by members of the cabinet about uh, flour in the Ashdod port, and we are working it very, very hard. It's critical that that flour get to people in need. And then just one more on the anti-satellite weapon capability. So in 2007, the Chinese destroyed a satellite on orbit, smothered into many you know, distributing a lot of debris. Um, you know, it, at that point, there was a demonstration of a U.S. anti-satellite capability um, that was ground-based, basically, using um, a, a weapon on the ground to uh, destroy a satellite that was uh, going to be going falling to Earth that posed some danger. Um, can you say whether the weapon, the new capability that the Russians um, have developed, is in fact space-based and or does it involve some test of a weapon that is uh, based on the ground? Right? It would be, uh, it, it would be space-based and it would be a violation of the Outer Space Treaty to which more than 130 countries have signed up to, including Russia.